after a cardinal direction <laughs> would be my main advice. Ah. It's impossible to look us impossible. up. Impossible. Yeah. Also, the West, like, the West even just... if you're like West Seattle or West Seattle Band, then a million things. There is a West Seattle, Seattle Band. Oh, yeah. There's the West Seattle know. Big Band. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. 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 Neither did we. Yeah. Not, yeah. <laughs> so so. We, very hard to look up online for a long time. And then we just thought that killer workout was better for us. It like fit our energy a lot more. So we just wanted to switch to it. So I love yeah. the name yeah. Killer Workout. It's badass. It's yeah, I think name. when we originally started, we and part of it was my fault, but like I think we tried to be a little too serious. Like, and then we sort of evolved out of that. And because I think the done. name Killer Workout sort of is like a, it was an evolution away from being like in, incredibly serious into being a little bit more fun. You know, what yeah. I mean? not yeah. like a joke band, but just more more fun. Yeah. yeah. And I love the the artwork that you guys have for Killer Workout. Like, your website looks so cool. Um, where did that artwork come from? Uh, a designer that I work with named Alex Brubacher designed our uh, artwork for that. Nice. Were you Very guys, talented fellow. Were you guys like, we want, like, this space scene of, like, cool we, people? Yeah, like, we, yeah, we kind of gave him a bunch of different inspiration from, like, old sci-fi novels and horror movies, like, VHS covers. And we're just kind of like, here's... Kind of with this stuff that inspires us in some weird ways. So, like, have at it. Yeah. And he came back with some sketches. And the, that, the like, two-faced lady kind of popped out at us. And we were like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And we were like, keep, keep going, man. And then he did. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you guys are going to be working in the future with him to keep your branding going. Because I just thought it was such cool artwork. Yeah. I wanted to see an album cover that you guys came out with and stuff and all that. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Now, we're actually working with this... Uh, other local artists, her name's Genevieve St. Charles Monet, and she does like these big donut paintings, mm. but she's gonna do our EP artwork. Okay. So it's like well, droopy food. It's like droopy, it's food that's bleeding this time. Is so, it like the the cake that's being yeah, stabbed? Yeah, she did that. That's, she did that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, cool yeah, artwork yeah, too though. Yeah. I like, you know, yeah, both are both are very cool because um, that image is very like, pow, like mm -hmm. with the blood and stuff. It's, yeah, yeah. yeah.
like you have trouble finding other bands to play with or, or finding that buddy band that really meshes with you guys well? Um, uh, sometimes. I mean, we like bands that are high energy, I would say. Um, when we were the West, people mm-hmm. would often book us with, it was like at the start of the folk revival thing mm-hmm. that was happening. So we would get booked with these folk bands and then we'd come on as this like dance punk disco thing. <laughs> like people just kind of figured, like assumed what our music was like yeah. based on the name. Or they didn't like, listen to the <laughs> yeah. our albums at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be yeah. like, there'd be people sound checking mandolins and we're back. So just like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Got some, you're ready for synthesizers. Got some, yeah. some yeah. on that for sure. Oh yeah. We yeah. definitely have like a network of bands that we know that we're, we play with pretty regularly yeah. and mm-hmm. yeah I, I don't know yeah there's, it's, it's like slant slant the same like trick candles if you're familiar with them yeah they, they have their own sound but they it balances nicely with ours or mm-hmm. like we used to play a lot with ever so android before they abandoned us to la no. just kidding um but you know that's a totally different sound but it's equally as kind of not aggressive but present mm-hmm. and um you know, eyes up to the audience style of performance. So I yeah. feel like that's kind of more of the way, but we just played with Bev- Beverly Crusher too, and that's a totally different thing as well, but it's yeah. just like, it's the same level the whole way. Yeah, totally. I just love that you guys use synths, because like, it's very underutilized in Seattle for whatever reason. I don't know. We only know how to play guitars here for some reason. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, we, got 16, we did 16 minutes. 16 minutes. Whoa. You want to ask one last question? Uh, yeah, sh- sure. Um, one other question I had was about, um, have you guys been signed before? Cue the violin. <laughs> no, no, we haven't, no. We haven't. Why do you ask? What role do you think labels play in music industry these days? I mean, I don't know anybody who's really been signed, honestly, and I've played in bands, and i play with a bunch of other bands, and none of them seem to have labels, and none of them seem to really want labels, don't really seek it out. Bob was signed before, were you? Uh, yeah, my old band, uh, the Blakes, were signed to uh, Light in the Attic Records. Who are mainly known as like reissue label, but they had they had signed the Black Angels and then wanted to sign another uh, original band, so they signed us, and it was a good experience. They gave us an advance so we could quit our jobs. Oh wow! <laughs> so, like, uh, you know, and they put some effort into promotion. I mean, you know, they have distribution everywhere, so that was that was a plus, and they helped. It was kind of one of those things where like. We signed and and we got, so then we had national distribution and then we started booking a tour and then we, from that effort we put into that we ended up getting a booking agent so like it kind of helped with just kind of getting everything into place yeah. I guess but um, I don't know how necessary it is anymore especially with all the outlets you have to get your music out yeah mm-hmm. we wouldn't so, say no yeah it's not like sure. we're shunning them but yeah, yeah. Right. like. I'm just always surprised when I hear like the quality of music and like how long people have been working at it. And I'm like, how have they not gotten somebody to be like, uh-huh. I would like you to be on my label because it would make me look good because you guys right. are good. Like, right. Yeah. But I don't know. I just don't see that happening that often with the bands that I'm around in Seattle. Um, yeah. Yeah. And which makes me think maybe it's not necessary. Maybe it's something that... Um, There's a few smaller labels like Hardly Art that I think support some of the bigger local bands yeah like, and something like that would be cool for us din tapes is rad i, I like din tapes yeah. a lot definitely yeah. Yeah. um and yeah those smaller labels sort of do seem to fill that void with um a lot of people in seattle yeah right yeah